We are gonna go and visit the Minmus Monument, but we'll also perform a side landing for that extra science and we'll be covering everything including the building, the launching, and the transfers and all of those in between and more. So the mission for today is the Minmus Monument one. And here is our favorite Dr. Kerry Kerman, who is again telling us the benefits of drinking too much coffee. Well, I don't buy it. Is a caffeine addict. Pure and simple. Okay, so we're gonna do in the trip planner, we say round trip to Minmus is around 10,000 Delta V. I don't buy it, it's not that much. But we're gonna be slapping a cargo pod because I'm gonna be slapping Science Junior and I'm gonna put this atmospheric one so that it does do some extra experiments around Kerbin atmosphere because this one is for ex atmospheric experiments only. Then we're gonna be slapping a two set of batteries so that we do have some extra you know electric charge then we're going to be slapping an extra parachutes drogue and drag just to be on the safe side so they the reason why i'm putting this extra parachute because previously i have put only the main one and it actually broke down the rest of the craft so that's why i'm being extra careful here then we're going to be putting now the extra set of legs so that's going to be happening too yes and then we're, what I'm thinking we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna be putting some extra tanks on the side. I don't need this four lander, it's 1,000.800 meters per second, which is a bit, pretty generous amount of Delta V, but I'm actually gonna go with the stuff that I knew worked before, because I do want that extra Delta V. So, and now I'm gonna be putting like four Terrier engines, and I'm gonna be using the fuel lines that we have recently acquired. Let me just slap some landing legs at the bottom, and honestly, this color scheme is hideous. I don't know if you like it. I hate it, which means I love it. Yeah, it's a love-hate relationship. Don't judge. So I'm pretty sure once we are done with the Minmus, when we go somewhere else, we're going to go with a different color scheme. So different color scheme per planetary body. Let's call it like that. Yeah. Then the lander is finished and it has 2.5 thousand of uh, meters per second of delta v then we're going to be slapping another poodle engine which will propel our craft to have a whopping 3.9 thousand meters per second of delta v which will this will get us to minmus so now we need to have enough oomph to get it into orbit and this stage has uh, a good portion of that to getting into orbit but not enough it has a powerful mainsail engine sitting below the 2.5 meter fuel tanks, which are great. Let me put then this uh, control fins and I'm going to be slapping some boosters. I'm actually loving playing with the SRBs in this save because they're fun. They look, have awesome, you know, lighting effects. They look great and uh, they look really beautiful with that music when it goes, you know, when you're launching the damn thing. So, we're going to be calling Minma Slander for this part, and let me just take care of that, uh, of the staging, because first we want the firing of the stage, which will be the boosters, and then we'll be firing the engine. There we go. Deluge system, igniters, and hit it! Boom! and the launch clamps detach as our craft gently ascends. Now the thrust to weight on this one isn't stellar, I think it's 1.4-ish, but uh, I think it's good enough. So SRBs are gonna get us the, this initial kick of speed to get us off the ground, and then we'll be staging our mainsail, which is roughly 1.2 thousand delta V, 1.2 thrust to weight, at this level it's good enough and it's taking us places as you can tell. Oh look at that beautiful sunrise above Kerbin. It's just amazing. Actually it's not sunrise, it's a sunset. We launch just in the evening, it's a beautiful evening launch. Oh look, some additional components. Well, um, yeah, that, those things happen. Now, let's go for the Kerbin apoapsis and we're gonna just circularize around you know, 100,000, which is our usual thing. I'm just fiddling a little bit with the maneuver nodes until we get a nice circularization burn. Doing some extra science, because we can. Point the rocket maneuver prograde, and we're gonna be engaging in 3, 2, 1, and ignite. For your benefit, I am accelerating and I'm skipping the parts that you already know. I mean, you know, 
The parts that I'm trying to cut out of this video are basically just waiting until the transfer, waiting until the burn and so and so. So the next thing that we're going to do, we have to do the orbital inclination change and we are changing our inclination so it matches Minmus. We did select Minmus as a target. And now we're going to be performing the inclination burn, which is at 220 meters per second. Good. So now we are aligned with the orbital inclination of Minmus and we are doing another maneuver node just to have that rendezvous with Minmus. So now I'm fiddling a little bit with the position of it to get a nice Minmus encounter. Um, people do have a, apparently the problem with these concentric circles. I don't mind. They actually show me the nice entry and exit points, although I wouldn't mind to have those configurable in the settings. So devs, if you're watching this, uh, have these concentric entry and exit points as configurable in the settings. Show and don't show. Yes, no thing. I do appreciate them and I do like them, So, but I understand and respect that some people might think it's off-putting and it's too gamified, but uh, then again, this is a game. So there we go, firing off our Poodle engine and we have a total of 3.7 thousand meters, of second, uh, meters per second of Delta V, which is actually more than enough to get us places. There we go and let me just unzoom. We are now to trying to secure a Minmus encounter and I don't really like these huge icons as people saw. People were asking can we change the icons, honestly I'll have to check and come back to you guys on that. Now, that being said, look at this beautiful... The cameras are, I think, a little bit bugged because the celestial view doesn't work as intended. The devs know about it and they're gonna fix it eventually, so probably that's gonna come after the Christmas break. So, and New Year's break, so once they fix it, it'll probably be better. But as I said, celestial camera doesn't work and I think the lights I'm still having problem with problems with the lights as you will be seeing in later in this episode spoiler alert sorry about that anyway so let's now see we are supposed to be investigating the Minmus monument and as you can see we have a yellow marker for it it's sitting right on top of this uh, on the Minmus it's I think it's in one of the Minmus craters so we're gonna go there as you can see, I'm trying to get those aligned. There we go, Minmus music. We're gonna burn just to make sure that we have a nice encounter with this crater. All right, and skipping a little bit forward. Let's accelerate the time until we get closer. Then we're gonna do the final, finer fiddlage of it. Yeah, beautiful. Look how glorious it looks. Wonderful approach, loving it. Looks awesome. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Three minutes. I'm just doing some extra maneuver nodes because obviously Minmus is rotating. So the more the closer we get to it, this point is basically running away from us. So nothing weird about that. I'm just trying to find a place where I should point my craft to burn. And I'm trying to find now a descent path. As you can tell, I'm trying to overshoot that target a little because it will give me the opportunity to slow down and decelerate when I'm right above it and just land on top of it. There we go. Oh, we have some science. I think it's science low above Minmus because we have passed the 25 kilometers above ground level. There we go. Accelerating time. There is our thing, monument, that we're supposed to be seeing. So turning a little bit around, sorry that it's a little bit accelerated. I mean, the video is already getting very long as is. So I had to go and use some, you know, editing shenanigans and tricks to get it to a decent duration. I'm saying around 18 up to a 30 minute video is just right. At least that's the way I feel about it. What do you think, guys? Would you like longer videos or one video per mission? I think that's just the right measure, but do let me know what you think in the comments below, obviously. And while you're in the comments below, I would really appreciate if you would boop the like button. It makes sure that more people can see these videos and enjoy KSP2 content like you guys are currently. And not to say also, it gives me a boost of confidence that I'm doing the good stuff. So thanks for that in advance. We are, have staged and got rid of this section and now we are getting into the Minmus Monument. And here 
I have a small disclaimer and an apology because apparently lights aren't working as expected and one of you has pointed out to me in the comments after I recorded the video for this that F5, F9 would actually fix the lights. I didn't know that. Apologies. In the future videos, and I'm talking past the Minmus and the next one, I will start using that trick to make sure that my lights work. I'm really sorry that this didn't work, but well, it is what it is. But we're gonna have a landing on top of Minmus after this one. We're gonna be landing on the sunny side because I really felt I wanted to see the Minmus stuff. So now, here you can see me fiddling and trying to get as close as I can to the Minmus uh, monument. I'm using the gravity so that we can get ever so closer. There we go. Get as close as possible. Make sure that we are not too close though, that we don't accidentally hit something. But it is our mission that we need to perform. So yeah, we're gonna do it. And we have metric crap ton of Delta V. Look, 2.2 thousand, which means I do want to do, do another orbital hop and go somewhere else for that extra science because I have lots of science stuff packed here. Okay, boosting gently and landed. Perfect, look at that, science reward. Research opportunity. So I did kick in the science. Let's go outside. Here we go. Tim C. Kerman taking selfies in front of the Minmus monument. And then we're gonna go land here, perform some science, grab that extra science that the monuments only provide. Monuments are giving a metric crap ton of science, by the way, if you didn't know. So this will give us significant science boost in our further pursuits going towards Duna and elsewhere. So there we go. Minmus Monument, uncovered I thought, and then I just slap the flags on, do the science, and let's go back to our Minmus Lander, and let's go to the sunny side. One or two extra screenshots wouldn't hurt, but given that they're so dark, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it for the today's episode thumbnail, because, well, yeah, it's too dark. All right, come on, stop fiddling there, Tim, and get in, please. There we go. Science transferred, and let's kick on the boosters, and let's get the hell out of here. Okay, three, two, one, burn, and we're burning towards the south this time, because I do want to do an orbital hop to get a little bit more equatorial. I'm thinking on this Minmus ice sheet, where the periapsis is, so that's my goal where I intend to land, and from that even the return will be simpler, so yeah, why not? I mean, I get that I have more than enough Delta V to do several Minmus hops, but what would be the fun in that we, that we do all the hops and this go? I mean, I don't want to milk Minmus for all the science. I'm not a Minmaxer. I'm enjoying, you know, my playthrough and something that feels, you know, right. I don't want to repeat it 20 times so it gets tedious. Having said that, we're gonna be landing on that ice sheet, so I'm now pointing my craft and burning a little extra so that we land on the nice cozy place that's illuminated by the sun. Look how gorgeous it looks. We're gonna be landing right about there, okay? Pointing downwards, making sure that I do decelerate. There we go. Surface velocity is being killed. Let me just quickly point my craft downgrade, okay? And now I'm gonna be using small puffs just to land ever so gently on that Minmus first surface. By the way, you're watching this landing, I think it's four times accelerated to be honest. And I'll lower it down to two and a half times accelerated as we get closer. There we go, huffs and puffs of smoke and we gently land and there we go. Extra science, because we're doing all of this for science. Now, going out, we're gonna be performing some extra science, Team C. Okay, zoom in. Look at him, happy, how happy he is trotting along. Let's do the surface experiment. I, I mean, if, the, if you try to get the camera too close, it bugs out a little bit, but I mean, it's not a big deal. Observations, here you go. Shall we plant a flag? Crew observation, running for five seconds. And then we'll plant the flag, Minmus Ice Sheet. There we go. Stick it, son. There we go. boy. Look at that. Now that's a screenshot for the episode if I ever knew one. Now, <clears throat> time to get back because a lot of these science stuff are experiments which we need to really return. So now we have plenty of Delta V. We're gonna raise up. We're gonna go straight to the east 
and we're gonna circularize at a point which is convenient for us so there we go circularizing and then we're gonna be planning our return circularization burn in three two one let's go beautiful we have a decent apoapsis and periapsis and then we're gonna be going all the way let's plan a maneuver node where we go awesome periapsis above carbon should be roughly 35 ish we're gonna do the burn detaching the boosters because we have consumed the fuel tanks from there and there we go oh we do seem to be litha breaking rather than having a carbon periapsis so i'm gonna roll retrograde and i'm gonna burn just to get a 35 kilometer 34 kilometer perfect okay periapsis because this will slow us down enough bye bye minmus and now let's go back to carbon here we go music change beautiful music and we are getting very close to carbon for our re-entry Let's point the craft retrograde, followed by a good hefty burn. There we go. Pointing the retrograde. There we go. And how we go? Arming the chute. And we have a lot of Delta V, which we're going to use to decelerate around Kerbin. Because why not? We can, obviously. This will also help us some components of our survive, maybe even re-entry. Maybe we could try to land this as is, although I'm not too keen on that. I prefer to ditch the stage and let it crash and burn, who cares? As long as the science is preserved, I'm happy. We are still doing the science, as you can tell, by our green flashing icon. And there we go, some science will be performed until we land down there we go beautiful coming down ever so gently we have a total of 376 data plus the mission rewards plus the, the experiments so i do expect a hefty payout at the end of this mission i think it's gonna be great yes all right that being said we are coming ever so gently landing down and touchdown vessel recoverable let's do some extra science here and we're gonna be taking team c Kerb kerman take this run a crew observation there we go beautiful and once that's done let's get back into the capsule for that important science reward so let's see how much did we get 1200 science and the 750 on top of it that's beautiful we're going to use so much science for the upcoming endeavors but until then thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one